Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Three Kingdoms Draw Yun. So what we're gonna do is basically head back to town. Uh, we can hit up some of the shops again. They sell pretty high tier stuff. So our taste has moved up, going for gold tier only now. Eventually we'll get a full set. And we have some inventory stuff that we have to take care of real quick. Still need to hit that level 70 to start using these and start crafting as well. If you want to sell... Not quite. Horse Merchant one more time in case they have any gear. We now have a gold, a red tier horse. Didn't expect to find one of those. That's a crit damage gain. Okay, we'll buy that. Yeah, definitely better. We'll salvage it later. Oh, this horse... Wait, 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 wait. Does the horse armor just not get applied to it? Guess not. So th basically, the look doesn't change despite the armor setup. Interesting. I guess the other models don't change either, just that those models came with armor. We're going back to make plans. Most likely, we're going to meet Zhuge Liang, who no base should have gone and uh, recruited after hearing Xu Shu who left. Historically speaking, Xu Shu didn't leave because his mother, you know, had a forged letter from Cao Cao. Basically, he left after Changban when his mother was actually captured by Cao Cao and he decided that filial piety is more important to him, which makes sense if you were, you know, raised as a scholar and decided that he was going to go and find her mother and uh, end up working for Cao Cao after that. Guess Zhuge Liang is not here yet. Xia Houdun has led 10, well, 100,000 troops. Ah, Shui, the nickname for Zhuge Liang. Because basically, after Liu Bei got Zhuge Liang to join him, he spent all his time with him. And Zhang Fei and Guan Yu feels neglected. They don't understand how this advisor, who's very young, Zhuge Liang's very young at this point, can be worth, you know, Liu Bei's attention. And Liu Bei described him as, you know, Liu Bei's the fish, Zhuge Liang's the water. And getting Zhuge Liang to join them, it's like fish returning to water. And Zhang Fei now jokes, you know, why don't you ask water how to deal with his 100,000 men? Everybody's like, you know, wisdom requires Ko Ming or Zhuge Liang. Uh, that's his style name. And for valor and fighting, we still need you guys. So this is a good chance, this battle, to test his wits. So we're trying to calm Zhang Fei down as well. And Guan Yu speaks up, it's like, we'll see how he performs in this battle. And then we can, you know, judge him properly then. If he doesn't do a good job here, then, you know, don't blame me when I get rough with him. Alright, off we go to the military camp. We're gonna meet Ruga down for the first time. Now, the game does end in Changban, so we're getting pretty close to the end. This is still chapter 11, I think. It will take place until Xinye gets burned down which is part of Zhuge Liang's strategy in the romance novels. Historically speaking, the burning of Bo Wang Po in Xinye was Liu Bei's doing very early on in the period, way before Zhuge Liang even joined him. But that story was adapted and given over to Zhuge Liang for the novel. And there's our man with the fan. The units have assembled. Time for Zhuge Liang to lay out his plan. Alright, there's a mountain to the left of Bo Wang, which is a hill, and to the right there is a forest, so this is a place to ambush. So Guan Yu's job is to hide on the mountains on the left, 
Once you see, we'll let the enemy pass, stay in hidden, uh, hiding, and then once you see fire lights up to the south, then strike at the supplies at the end. Basically, supplies be carried in carts. Basically, target these supplies and destroy their supplies. Alright, Guan Yu obeys orders. Zhang Fei's order is to hide in that forest on the right. Same thing, wait for the fire, and then come out and attack. We're the bait, we're in the front. Can't win, only lose. We're supposed to feign defeat to lure the enemy in. Guan Ping, hmm. Guan Yu's adopted son in the romance novels. Historically speaking, actual son. Now, the reason why there is a difference here, I mean, Liu Feng is Liu Bei's adopted son in romance and in history. They each take 500, they bring fire starters, and they're supposed to come out and spark the fire. And then Sun Qian and, and Jian Yong's job is to prepare the feast. For the victory that's definitely going to come because he's super confident. Uh, but back to Guan Ping. So Guan Yu's son, historically speaking, Guan Ping is his eldest born. The reason why romance novel gave, uh, gave him a background story where he met a family with the same surname and then they had a son who wants to join him and became his adopted son is because historically speaking, Guan Ping was too young and he would not have participated in any of these fights. Guan Yu didn't have a son until quite late in his life. So in order to write Guan Ping's son or Guan Yu's son into these stories, they created the adoption scene so that they can make Guan Ping older, uh, but at the cost of making him adopt this son, even though he was a biological son, you know, historically speaking. We're all going out to fight. What is your job? I sit here and defend. And they're laughing at him, but uh, obviously his plan's gonna work beautifully. You know, Liu Bei's sword is here, and anyone who disobey our orders, Liu Bei has said that we'll punish you by military law and that will kill you. And Liu Bei is gonna flatter Zhuge Dan a little bit. You know, those who plan from far away can dictate victory thousands of miles away. So everyone listen, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So we're supposed to go to Bo Wang Po, which I believe is just gonna be. Oh, it's a different map location. Okay. We're going up on a horse and right out to that corner. Now we can get these resources again before we head out. I don't want to go down south and grab those pretty precious uh, gemstones. for this again. Only one each. But a pretty peaceful area. So if we were to farm here, it wouldn't be too difficult. We should hit level 70 in this battle for sure, and then we can maybe in between episodes set up our level 70 gear. Let me tap this. Alright, we're preparing... what are these? Traps. Okay. Right, they're gonna roll them down the hill. One is moving into the little mountain to the left, and then there's a couple of more locations where we have to repair. And then Jungfei will probably move to the right, which is the forest. And then we set up the bait. No drop. Unfortunate. A 
beautiful hidden chest in the tall grass. We put fire starters in those carts. More ambush troops getting ready. But we're getting harassed by a wolf. And there's one more trap to be laid. group John face troop moving into the forest and we're gonna be setting up the frontal bait Jiaodun's here he's asking where are we now on the march so Yujin and Li Dian go be the rear guard, and he's going to be marching forward. And we're supposed to go whoop, offer him a fight, show him a little bit of weakness, basically fight him a little bit until the game tells us to retreat, and then we'll retreat. I doubt we'll kill him in this process. Right, he says, after they took in Xu Shu, Xu Shu mentioned how talented Zhuge Nan would be. And he laughs at how small our army is here. Like, no, need, no need to boast. You know, get down from your horse and surrender to us. Yeah, falling to obey, it's like ghosts, you know, following each other, so we're gonna die, basically, he's trying to say. Wait, why did we switch to a bow? That was not what my weapon was in the end there, but sure. Alright, got knocked down, which is fine. Guess that's enough damage, and we can pull back now. Following orders, we can only lose, can't win. So units, retreat. So he's gonna give pursuit. Oh, Han Hao makes appearance. Han Hao was his subordinate, very talented, and uh, will eventually be one of the early supporters of the Twin Tian system for Cao Cao. He comes in and warn him. That really shouldn't be his job. I think in the novel, it's Li Dian's job. But uh, he warns him of potential ambush. Doesn't care. We're supposed to lure them in. Alright, so I guess we just have to pull back. I mean, I kind of want to kill people as we go. I don't think there's a rule against that. Towards the ambush point. Kind of 
keep our troops protected a little bit. We're fine. We're going to make it to the point. No problem. All right. And night falls and the trap is unleashed. Right, so these are the supply carts that Guan Yu is going to target. It's like perfect. Their troop has chased us into the Bolong Hills. Come fight us. You know, fighting you guys is like having sheep fight against tigers and leopards. We're going to capture Liu Bei alive, capture Zhuge Liang alive. And we just have to spring the trap. Signal fire. So they're in the designated area. He's going to shoot a fire arrow to kind of signal the attack. Here we have the rolly pins across the unit. Ah, Li Dian is the one to come out and speak up. You know, we're in an area that's prone to ambush and there's a lot of, you know, dry grass, potential fire attack. Li Jin also tells him, you know, this is a terrible location with mountains on one side and forests on the other. And then Zhaodun's realizing a little bit too late that we need to retreat. But all of a sudden, got fire rolling pens coming down, crushing the elites. Ooh, big boulders as well. And Guan Yu's unit are attacking the supplies from behind. Zhang Fei's unit are joining in from the other side. Fire is on, and we're going to turn around in a trap. Everyone retreat. And we go back. Defeat everyone who's still here. That's pretty much everyone left. Sahodun's still here. He's fighting his way out. I guess we get to fight him again. Yep. Not give him the charge on us. He's stunned. So we just finish him off. And down he goes. Oh, Sahalan's here to protect him. Because, you know, being his uncle. We're enemies now on the battlefield. On the battlefield, there's no brotherhood. And uh, we're going to be fighting him. He's fighting in the middle of my army. And down goes Saholan. Not dead. But historically speaking, he was captured in this battle and Zhao Yun recognized him as someone from his same village and begged Liu Bei to keep him alive and he became an officer in Liu Bei's army. A very minor one. But obviously this game is going to not take that path. It's like we're working for different masters, so my uncle has lost, but more troops will come. 
He's going to retreat. His troops are still here. He's basically hoping that we will be prepared for the next wave. And they have pulled back. We'll collect our loot. Good win. Cao Cao's army has retreated. We can go back to camp. We did not hit level 70 yet, so some of these minor fights we would like to get involved. So we can get some more experience here. Also plenty of gear that's still on the ground, including these. I don't think there's enough experience left for us. Oh, there's still a couple more here. Are they still flooding in? Like being spawned in? If they are, then we might be able to hit 70 here before we head back to camp. are still being spawned back in. It feels like we just cleared this area. And we'll hit 70 here and then go back. Alright. Fresh spawns. They run out of spawns? They might have. We might have just come up a little short with the experience. make up for it. Probably not. There's just not enough. There was that tiger here earlier. Is this still respawn? Hmm. I don't see it. But the music did change. Let's see if I can find some things to farm. I really do want to hit 70. Oh! Bear! Oh, two of them. Well, that that's new. Sweet dates and higher tier meat. Not what I was expecting when killing these bears, but decent amount of experience gained from that. of them again. Oranges? Another very foreign fruit, but okay. 
bears drop weird stuff. But we're getting closer with the experience. And if we could bump into another pair. They do link back eventually. We're being blocked by an invisible wall. Okay. Alright. Three bears. And a chest. We'll take that. Ooh, got knocked down. We just need to find something, anything. We're so close to level 70. anything. Ooh. Wait. Wait a minute. That's a yellow turban. Hold on. Wait. Keep hitting the wrong button. But got the kills. They're just waiting by a fire here. What is this? A farming spot for other elites? They're guarding this chest. We hit our level up. Uh, seems like we can still gain experience point. There's higher level than 70? Alright, we're upgrading that. We're upgrading that. Uh, we learned both of those already. Switching our bow. I'm gonna wait for that. We actually have to pull a lot of these uh, enchantment off before we can store them for good. Pretty sure item wise in the game only goes to 70. Alright, but now we can return victorious, discover some uh, enemy types that we never would have found. Cao Cao's army is going to come next, and it's going to be the burning of Xin Ye. We're going to grab the resources before we go back, because crafting is definitely coming up soon. Our look didn't change this time when we hit 70. I wonder if that's because I did a look... I changed the look manually. Nope, that's actually our final look here. Victory celebration, vindication for Zhuge Liang. Alright, 
如今大圣才知道军师果然是神机了。张飞，你要不与诸葛亮的事 ，It's like a god。正是运筹帷幄之中。And exactly what Liu Bei said earlier. 军说哪里话 ？Being a bit humble. You know, my first appearance here, getting gaining the trust of Liu Bei. And、uh, it's because you guys followed orders strictly and fought bravely that we had this victory. And、uh, we're gonna go back and have a feast.、So、after the fire, Xia Hodun retreated back in defeat. Cao Cao、uh, basically said the concern that he has is basically with Liu Bei and Sun Quan. And、uh, he's gonna take his chance to march south, and Liu Bei will be first. So half a million. Troops, and it's going to be divided into a few teams. First team is Cao Ren, Cao Hong. Second team is Zhang Liao, Zhang He. Third team is Xia Hou Yuan, Xia Hou Dun. Fourth team is Yu Jin, Li Dian, and Cao Cao will be his own fifth team. Each would have a hundred thousand men. Xu Chu will be one of the vanguard generals with three thousand troops, and on. Uh, the July, they're going to march out to wipe out the South, and Cao Ren comes here first, and we have to defend again. We're going to make a plan back at the camp, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be using the shops here because we are now level seventy, so we're going to have to remove that because we're no longer going to be wearing it. We're probably gonna have to remove everything because we're gonna be switching quite a bit as we move to the next tier. So we might as well just dump everything right now. All right, we're back to zero, zero, zero across the board. Buy the good ones, which right now would only be. The gold tier ones.、We're、gonna be selling the blue. We're, we're moving up in this world.、And、then first, we're gonna do a repair. We technically don't have the recipe for everything level 70 yet, but we'll see what we can make. We have to go to our storage to work on a lot of the items.、Uh, we forgot to get rid of that. Let's see. We have level 60, level 65, 40 sets. So none of the spears we can use. Going to have to craft the new one. At the level seventy, sixty-five, seventy. Wait, is it me that we lost? No, we didn't lose item. They're just moving up. Yeah, I'm a little paranoid about the inventory item loss because it's it's been happening. We've been losing gear. That's a seventy. As is that. Okay, so I think we took everything that's seventy. Store that. Store all these. Actually, we lost a bunch of meat, for example. Carry one. Ooh, enchantments. Okay, what we will do is we'll take all the higher tier ones out. We'll sell those in the future. Don't need these right now. We're not doing any of those sets, but we are going to be doing a bit of crafting, and we're going to need this. Grab Nai Nai. 
99 out of each should be enough for now. Okay. Then we'll look at what recipes we have and we'll figure out what we will make. Level 70 spear. We can make plenty of these. Now you could actually just use a save right before you craft. And then if you don't get the roll you want, you could close the game and reset it. It wouldn't basically force close the game, reload back to the save. Level 70 bow. So we have the recipe for the bow and the spear. We picked up a blade ourselves, which we currently have. Actually, we should look at which ones we should wear from ourselves first, because we have a bunch of... Okay, you saw that, right? We lost one of them. Oh, there it is. It came back. Got scary for a moment there. Uh, let's see. The one that's equipped has crit damage crit damage increase so it basically changes life and cooldown and healing this one's better yeah this one's more offensive this one it just gets more health and the game is valuing that a little bit more but I don't particularly value that um, not as good but higher tier take that Lower defense, increased stamina, increase durability. I don't really care about durability as a stat. Right, so we're gonna have to craft everything. The sword, do I like it? Let's see. Armor piercing chance, 4.3%. Attack increase, attack increase, attack increase. Counters elites. And increase our critical damage by 3.4% per hit, up to 10 stacks. The 34% crit damage. Not terrible. And then recipe wise, what else do we have? We have 70 helmet. Okay. That's going to be a pretty constraining factor. 70 armor. We don't have the 70 gauntlet, but we do have this version, the minor gauntlet, which we could consider because we're going to need one for um the armor set to alter we don't have anything with pants but we're wearing a level 70 pants right now so that's good we're wearing a boot but we can also craft another one we're using one of these we don't have a necklace we have two necklace formulas this one's for defense focus this one's for health focus we basically will pick one and craft one we can basically craft one of each okay we have cape so i think what we're gonna do actually is cut this episode short I will spend the time between episode doing a bunch of the crafting gear and then once we have our final set that we're happy with, we can go back to Xinyet, make plans for dealing with Cao Cao's army, which will be the burning of Xinyet, and then we'll move on to chapter 12, which will be the escape that will conclude with the Battle of Changban, which is the end of the game. Uh, it's not a full length type of game, but the original game was even shorter, I think back before the remake the boss, the final boss was going to be Lu Bu. They extended it for this remake and they made it to Changban, where Zhao Yun really gets to make his name. So we'll get to see all that and we'll come back next time, hopefully with the decked out set of gears. So until then, bye.